How to bid on Upwork. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys in this step-by-step -step tutorial on how to actually do this. So if this video was helpful, then please do let me know in the comments, but let's get started right away. So over here, I am in Upwork. I just scrolled a little bit down and I found this job over here. And if I would like to, you know, um, apply for this, then I could simply click on here. I can read all of the requirements that I will have to do. You can see the whole budget, which is actually quite a lot in this case. And you can read all of this and you can see the reviews, blah, blah, blah. So if you actually want to apply now, you want to click on there. And this will bring you over to the proposal page. So here you can see this proposal requires 16 connects. And when you submit this proposal, you'll have 34 remaining. So keep that in mind. Once again, you can read through all of this. Here you can, for example, select how do you want to be paid. So by milestone, so divide a project into smaller segments. And then you get paid for each little segment. Or you can simply do by project. And then you'll get paid um, once you have finished everything. So you can decide which one you would like to or prefer. And um, yeah, so here you can, for example, do a milestone per video in this jobs case. Then how long will this take? You can select that as well. But all the way at the bottom, after you have written your cover letter and maybe even added some attachments, you can actually see here the bidding. So boost your proposal, which is optional. But basically, it says bid for one of the four boosted spaces at the top of the client proposal list. So how bidding works you'll be charged uh, your bid if the client interacts with your proposal or you're one of the top four bidders by the time the auction closes. And you'll be re refunded if your, bid, um, if your bid was outbidded from the top four slots before the client interacts with your proposal. So you can now see the live proposals over here. You can see the first, second, and third, and fourth plays from one hour, 30 minutes, two, and three hours ago. You can also refresh this a little bit. As you can see, this already overbid it. So someone bid at 60 connectors. So this person really wants the job. So basically, once you see this, you kind of just stand no chance when you send 16 connects like it uh, required at the top because um, you'll be l below the fourth place. So when you see something like this, you... Um, kind of just has to have to overbid, as you can see. So this person just did that with 60 connects, which is actually a lot. Um, and he's now first place. So if you want to get, for example, second place, then you can set a bid. And you can um, set a bid to, for example, 30, which means I would automatically be in the second place. And then I can simply click on bid and then um, send it right over here. And then my whole proposal will be sent to that person and you'll have a way higher chance of actually getting the job. So um, yeah, that is kind of it. I hope this video helped you out. I hope I explained it well. Uh, let me know in the comments if it helped you out and I'll see you next time.